Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to sprout your beans and lentils and rice and I'm also going to tell you why you should. So I'll start by explaining why I bother sprouting my beans and my lentils and my rice and it's mainly for digestibility. Now rice I can digest just fine without it being sprouted but beans and lentils and just all kind of legumes. Um, I can handle them, but they do make me a little bit bloated, a little bit gassy. So I find that when I sprout them and then cook them, it just digests so much better. So uh, that's why I really like sprouting my beans and lentils. Now another reason is, is that it supposedly increases the nutrient content in the food. It supposedly increases protein availability and supposedly um, decreases certain anti-nutrients like phytic acid or whatever I don't know I don't know if it's actually true but I've read a lot of like internet articles <laughs> who knows if it's really true but I found that the main reason you know it just digests so much better and if it does increase the nutrient bioavailability which you know there's a good chance that it actually does you know that's just a bonus so now I'm gonna show you how I do this process so these are sprouts that I started a few days ago and they're ready to get cooked or put in the fridge. Um, and here's the rice. So you can see the rice is ready when it has these little tufts coming out of the ends of it. I don't know if you can see. I think you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm about to cook this rice. Um, but we're gonna start over with a new batch so that you can see step by step how I do it. And what I do is, if you don't have these uh, these sprouting trays, I'm gonna find a link on Amazon so that if you wanna order these, you can. I got these in a local store. Um, but you can also use jars, so I'm gonna show you the setup for that. All right, so in the video today, we will be sprouting some brown rice and some mung beans. And one thing that's really important is that you get a high quality organic brown rice or whatever kind of rice you're sprouting. Um, I have tried using the organic bulk rice from the grocery store, but it didn't sprout and it went moldy, so I don't recommend that. This Lundberg brand always gives me good results. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. And the mung beans, they're organic too, but they are from the bulk section, and usually the beans are just fine from the bulk section. It's just the rice that you have to be a little bit more picky with. So, um, what you'll need if you don't have one of these sprout towers is, first of all, you can order these sprouting jars with the lid that comes with it, and I'll put a link to that as well. Um, but if you don't want to order that, and you have a bunch of mason jars, you can just go to your local hardware store, buy a square meter of mesh for like a dollar, and voila, sprouting jar is complete. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is just put as much rice or beans or whatever you're doing into a jar and add some water. And I'm not really doing that much rice right now because I like just I have this batch of rice that I just finished and I'm not gonna go through it that quickly, I don't think. So there we go, so we're just gonna soak this for 12 hours or overnight, and you're also gonna just put the lid on. All right, lids are on, and I'm just gonna let this soak overnight now, and I will see you in the morning with the next step. All right, it's the next morning, and the beans and rice have been soaking for 12 hours, so now I'm gonna pour this water out and rinse them a couple times. So I'm just dumping the water out and now I'm just going to add some more water. And then dump it out again. And I usually do that about two or three times so that the beans, uh, so that the beans are really nice and rinsed clean. So then if you have one of these sprouting jars, you're just going to place it on a plate and you know, make sure it's tilted down. Obviously it's designed that way so that any excess water drains out. And if you're using a mason jar with a mesh, then uh, you just put it in a bowl or you prop it up somehow so that it's tilted so that the water will drain out. Um, but since I actually have those sprouting towers, I'm going to leave the mung beans in here to show you the rest of the process in the jar, but I'm going to move these to the uh, sprouting tower. So I just soaked the uh, rice in the jar for the video purposes, but usually what I do is soak it in a bowl, rinse it really well in the strainer, and then put it in the sprouting tray. 
It just looks nicer on the countertop rather than having all these jars everywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna let them hang out on the counter and do their little sprouting thing. So it is the morning now, like I said, and tonight before I go to bed, I will rinse them and I will show you that process tonight. Oh, and like I mentioned in the other video, it really helps if you talk to your sprouts and just like, you know, tell them you love them. Okay, it is now the evening and I'm gonna rinse the mung beans and the rice and you can actually see that the mung beans have started to sprout already. They usually sprout super fast. So I'm just gonna put some water, give it a little stir, and then let the water drain out. And then just put it back on the plate. Now I'm gonna do the rice. So I'm just gonna put the water on. Get it a little bit wet and then let it drain. So I just have to hold it here for about a minute or two. So all the water's drained now and I'm just gonna put it back on the sprouting tower and the rice will, will probably be ready to cook tomorrow morning and the mung beans will be ready to put in the fridge. All right, it is the next morning and the rice is ready to get cooked. Um, as you can see, it's got these little, white little fuzzy things on the ends of them. Um, and that means they're ready. So the rice I usually just cook right away. I just put it on the stove and in a pot. All right, now I wanna quickly talk about how to cook your sprouted rice and your sprouted beans and lentils. So the thing is with sprouted stuff is that they've already absorbed a lot of water. So the cooking time is gonna be much less. And also the amount of water that you need to cook them in is gonna be less. So for the rice, I actually just stick it in the pot and eyeball it, um, but I have measured it a few times and I've noticed that I need about one third less of the amount of water. So if, say you'd use, uh, say if you have one cup of sprouted rice and you would use two cups of water, um, normally in like dry rice, you would use what, one cup dry rice, two cups water. Now you're gonna use one cup sprouted rice and one cup and about a one and a half cups of water. So you're just gonna to have to decrease the water by about a third, yeah, around there. You're gonna to have to experiment a little bit because each rice is a little bit different. So um, yeah, and the same thing for the beans. They're gonna cook much faster. And now you could eat them raw, but personally I get, I still get gas when I eat raw sprouted beans. So I prefer to cook them. And um, for the cooking, yeah, it takes much quicker. And uh, I usually just kind of like boil them or steam them. Yeah, I usually just steam them in my steamer and it only takes like 10, about 10 minutes and they're ready to go. And then the mung beans, are ready as well um, so at this point you could either put them in a container and put them in the fridge or you could cook them I usually just um, put them in a container and put them in the fridge because Denise likes to have them raw and I like them cooked so I'll just put them raw in the fridge and I'll just cook the ones that I want to eat that day and then that way we each have our beans and she has them raw and I have them cooked all right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Um, I do have another video that I made about sprouts a few years ago. Um, it's just uh, how to sprout regular sprouts, like alfalfa sprouts. So you can go ahead and check that out. I'll put that a link to that somewhere here or in the description box below. And uh, yeah, if you love sprouts, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.